Hey everybody, Kevin Algebra here. And the end of 2018 is upon us, so I thought it'd be cool to recap all the games I beat this year. Check that out after the break. Alright, so I finished over 40 games this year, which is pretty surprising, considering I do have a one-year-old daughter that keeps, us, keeps me very busy. So, I'm going to try and get through this as quickly as possible so this video doesn't go too long. So let's get started immediately. And we're going to do this by console, and we're going to start with some consoles that I just beat one game uh, for each of these. So first up, God of War Chains of Olympus. So, when God of War was coming out for the PS4, I wanted to beat a bunch of the other God of War games that I hadn't beat yet including the two PSP games. Unfortunately, I did not get a chance to finish the second one, but this one was really good, really enjoyed it. The controls were a little weird on the PSP, but still a fun game nonetheless. Then on the PS2, Jack and Daxter. So Jack and Daxter was a game I'd always heard good things about, so this summer, had some time, decided to play it, really, really enjoyed it, completed 100%, can't wait to try two and three. Then for the Wii, Kirby's Epic Yarn. So Kirby's Epic Yarn is a very fun Kirby game. It's easy, like all the Kirby games, and it's just it's a lot of fun. I definitely suggest you try it out. It's really cool how you change into different shapes in your yarn. Uh, really, really interesting. Check it out. And TurboGrafx-16, we beat Bonk's Adventure. So beat this on a stream about a month ago. It was a lot of fun. Really enjoyed playing it. I can't wait to try out the second one. Next, we'll talk about a couple of the Game Boy games I beat. First one, Gargoyle's Quest. So this was part of the October Spooktacular. Played it for the first time, got through it. It was a lot of fun. Definitely suggest that one too. And Operation C. So this one I just beat recently on stream. First time I'd ever played it. Uh, it took about five tries. We got through it. A very, very good Contra game. Great game for the Game Boy. Game Boy is very underrated. Uh, don't know why people don't talk about it more. Next we're going with the Nintendo Switch. We've got two games from that. First one, it'll do two. Very, very fun game. Really reminds me of like the Legend of Zelda series. Um, it's very interesting, um, not too long of a game, there is more that I could have done, but I wanted to move on to a different game, but it's really fun, I suggest you check it out, and it's made by Nicholas, which makes some like, excellent games for the Switch. And, Super Mario Odyssey, I mean, come on, had to beat this game, excellent, excellent Mario game, really enjoyed it, um, not my favorite 3D Mario game, but definitely up there, really, really fun, if you do not have this for the Switch yet, what are you waiting for, gotta grab it. Next we'll go with Super Nintendo. First one, The Lion King. Damn you, Peter Bateman. Damn you for making me play this game. This one, no, I was kidding. This is the first Request Tuesday game that I played. Actually, it was very frustrating. It took me about, uh, what was it? Two, two and a half hours, three hours? No, was it five hours? I can't remember how long I streamed that night. But over half the video was the last battle with Scar until I finally figured out what to do. It was ridiculous. But it's actually a decent game. Um, I don't want to play it again anytime soon. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the fighting edition. So this game was interesting. I always heard good things about it. And I was a big Power Ranger fan growing up. So I put it in and I bought it, tested it. I was like, and I just kept going because I had a lot of fun. Beat it my first try. Really fun game. Definitely check it out. Next one, Battletoads and Double Dragon. This game I was very excited to finally beat. This is a childhood game of mine that I could never get that far on, but we did it for the Weekly Retro Challenge last year, and I definitely wanted to get through it after watching Paul, Mega Retro Man, Tessie dominate. So I'm like, I gotta do this. Really fun game. Glad I could do it. Um, now I can beat it anytime I play it. Uh, there's just that one stage where you're flying that gives me trouble with the rest. Pretty easy. Star Fox. So that was a request from Solid 8 when I was doing Request Tuesday live streams, which I'll be bringing those back eventually. Um, it's a it's a fun game. I still prefer the Star Fox 64 game. Um, I only beat the one route, but I did beat one part of it, so I count it. Fun game. I don't know if I'm going to go back to it anytime soon, though. And Super Star Wars. So beat this for Star Wars Month last May. Another childhood game that I'd never beaten before, but ran through it pretty easily uh, during the stream. A lot of fun. Now i got to play Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. Next, we're going to some Genesis games. So doing the Genesis A to Z definitely helped with some of these. First one, Alien Storm. This is the inaugural Genesis A to Z stream. Beat it. Uh, took me like about three tries, but really fun game. Great arcade port. Check that out. Next one, Ariel the Little Mermaid. So beat this the first attempt. Took under an hour. Not a very good game. It's got really annoying uh, sound, but 
beat it. We're going to count it. Altered Beast. Oh, man, I love Altered Beast. I'd never beaten this as a kid. Could get to the last guy, but never did take him down. Finally, did it on stream. Really, really cool. Fun game. One of my favorite Genesis games of all time. Clay Fighter. So Clay Fighter, I was not very excited for trying this. Um, it's a fighting game, and I'm not very good at fighting games. But this one wasn't too bad. Um, it's got unlimited continues, which helps. So I've, I just kept go, um, kept fighting my way through it. Got through it eventually. There weren't actually too many parts that were too tough for me. Um, only a couple fights that I have to spend a uh, few tries on. And Battletoads Double Dragon. Beat it on the Super Nintendo. Had to beat it on the Genesis. So again, Genesis A to Z stream. I went through with uh, one of the Double Dragons first, and I was like, okay, let's try the Toads. And I was actually able to beat. I was actually able to beat it with a Toad as well, which is really cool. Because I have not been able to do that with the Super Nintendo version yet. Next we'll go with the 3DS. Luigi's Mansion. So Luigi's Mansion is one of my favorite games on the GameCube. So when this was coming out for the 3DS, I had to pick it up. Played it immediately. Beat it that day. Excellent, excellent game. A little tougher to control on the 3DS than on the GameCube. But it's pretty fun. Kirby Planet Robobot. So I beat this on our way to Nashville. Well, actually, on there, on the way there and back, on the way to Nashville, we went to the Titan Eagle game back in September. Really, again, fun Kirby game. I really like the mechanic of getting the Robobots, and depending on what powers you scan, you, the that Robobot has that same power, which is really, really cool. Definitely a fun game. Super Mario 3D Land. So I'd beaten Super Mario 3D World. I was like, well, i got to play 3D Land now. Excellent, excellent game. 3D World is better, but still, this is an excellent game. And The Legend of Zelda, A Link Between Worlds. So a bunch of us in the Voxer, Mega Dan, J-Love, we're all talking about this game. And I kept hearing great things about it. So I tried it, and ooh, I ran through it. Excellent, excellent game. Now don't kill me, but I think it's better than A Link to the Past. Now granted, I do not have the nostalgia goggles that some of us have. I didn't play A Link to the Past as a kid, so I could be part of it. Uh, but it's a really, really cool game, and I love the mechanic of being able to, uh, of being able to attach to the wall and then be able to go through the cracks, go to the other world. Very cool, check it out. Next we're going with the NES, so it actually happens to be the console that I beat the most games for this year. Renegade. So I actually beat this at the Midwest Gaming Classic. I was hanging out with back in the day gamer, my buddy Seth, playing this game because the, the Not So Weekly Retro Challenge hosted by Nefarious West was coming up and we wanted to get a little more practice in. Hadn't beat it yet, beat it for the first time there, it was pretty cool. Ended up going back and beating it again so I could get a better time for the challenge, but really fun game. If Wes hadn't hosted that challenge, I don't know if I'd ever been able to get into this game. DuckTales, woohoo! So DuckTales was a game that I never really enjoyed that much. I kind of thought it was boring. And so, but finally I was like, you know what, I was on stream, I had some extra time. I'm like, let's just put it in, let's play the game. Actually got through it, not too hard. It's, it's a fun game, it's just, I don't know. It's not as exciting as people make it out to be. You know, music is great, it controls well, the graphics are cool. But, eh, it's just not that great of a game in my opinion. RBI Baseball. So this is a game I had growing up. I never actually went through the whole season mode and beat all nine teams. This time I did. Now, yes, I kind of cheated. I used the American League All-Stars, but I don't know. That's one of my, When we were growing up, my brother always used them, and so that's what I would use, and that's just the team I've always used. So I beat it. Kind of cheating, but it counts. Mega Man 2. So growing up, we only had Mega Man, so I was very excited to finally get uh, some of the other games in the series. Mega Man 2 is awesome. That Metal Blade just destroys everybody. Really cool. I meant to play more of them, but I ended up almost beating Mega Man 3, and then just I stopped because I had stuff going on and never went back to it. Castlevania. This is another game we had growing up, but never able to beat, so I wanted to get through it. Didn't take me too long. It's a really fun game. Beat it, and then I actually streamed it later on uh, for October Spooktacular. Excellent game. T Belly, you're gonna love it. I know you're trying out right now. And Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest. So Mega Dan wanted to do this for Mega Powers Monthly. He walked me through it. It's actually a very easy game. Yeah, a little cryptic. You can def we use the walkthrough, but you can figure stuff out by listening and talking to people. But other than that, it's a really easy game. So I was kind of disappointed there that it didn't take much skill to actually beat that game. And the Guardian Legend. So this game was another request that someone had, and I am so glad they requested. Oh my god, excellent, excellent game. Took quite a few uh, while, I think about seven hours to beat it over two streams. But oh my god, was it excellent. Very, very fun game. Definitely in my top 10 NES games of all time. And Jackal. Another Request Tuesday game from Musty Hobbit. Very fun game. Took me a while to get through. That last boss was a bitch. I hated fighting him, but I finally got done. 
It was really, really cool. So Musty, thanks for the suggestion. Back to the future. I don't care what you say, Wes, this game is excellent. So we grew up with this game, never able to beat it. I didn't even get past the uh, part where you gotta throw the sundaes or milkshakes at the uh, bullies. Could never get past that, but now get past that, no problem. I can actually always get to the last stage, but I've only been able to get past it once. That car driving stage sucks. I always hit lightning right towards the end, and then I just get to like 86 miles an hour or 87 miles per hour. And it's so annoying, but it is a very fun game. Don't listen to what other people say about it. Just because that's the LJN rainbow, it's not that bad. Friday the 13th. Another LJN game that gets way too much bad rap for no reason. It's a very fun game and really not that confusing. If you just follow along with what it says and tells you to do. And of course, read the manual. Right, Mega Dan? Um, and the map's not confusing either. So I don't know why people are like, Oh, I don't know. I go left and I'm actually going right. No, it's not that difficult to figure out. Just move a little bit. Look at the map. Okay? Not hard. But really, really fun game. Jason gets pretty tough on day three, but now I, I played it enough for that October Spooktacular. I think I got it down where I can beat it, you know, 20 minutes every time. Going along right with that, A Nightmare on Elm Street. So another October Spooktacular game. This was a game I really wanted to knock out. So much fun. I couldn't beat it on stream, but the next day I went right back to it. Got her done. Excellent game. Again, the LJ and Rainbow does not mean it's a bad game. Definitely try that. What we got? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 3, The Manhattan Project. So this is part of the Not So Weekly Retro Challenge. A lot, a lot of fun. Really enjoyed it. I know a lot of people got sick of it. I even got sick of it eventually with Solid Nate streaming it over and over again, beating with every turtle. I know Ren got sick of it, so it's kind of funny. But I really enjoy it. It's the, my favorite Turtles game on the NES. I have not beaten the other two yet, but I definitely need to do that soon. And the last NES game, Legendary Wings. Another request Tuesday. Really enjoyed it. I flew through this game. It really isn't that bad once you get the power-ups and figure those out and figure out where the lucky holes are to get even more powered up. Um, a lot of fun. You definitely want to be powered up for those later stages, but it's a fun game. I definitely suggest you try it out. And last, we're going with my favorite current-gen console, the PS4. First game, Doom. Oh my god, this game is excellent. So much fun, so gory. The music is fantastic. It's just a rush to play. If you have not played this, I definitely suggest it. I know Solid Nate, way back early in the summer, you and I were talking about this game. I definitely suggest you play it soon. And Cat Quest? So this is a game I heard uh, from JR Man 331 He does pickup videos, and he's usually commenting on mine. And I saw him pick this game up, and I absolutely love cats. So I'm like, oh, I gotta pick this up. It's an action RPG, really cool, not too long. Um, it's got a good difficulty curve. Um, you don't get overpowered too fast. Eventually, you get so overpowered, you can just destroy everything. But still, to, until then, you got to have a little strategy. It's a really fun game and uh, an interesting story. Bubsy, the Wooly Strike Back. So Bubsy always gets a bad name, but when I saw this game came out, I had to get it. It's actually very, very short. Beat it in one day in a couple hours. And that includes getting all the trophies. So it's, it's a pretty fun game, fun platformer. And you can actually change how annoying Bubsy is um, with how much of his one-liners that he uses. So if it really annoys you, just turn it off. God of War, the game I was looking forward to the most this year, definitely the game of the year for 2018, a really, really fun game. I was a little nervous at how they were changing the game around, it wasn't going to be that fast-paced hack and slash, but man, they did an excellent, excellent job, I cannot wait to see where the rest of this series goes. Spider-Man, another game that came out this year, was in the running for game of the year, could not put this game down, it was excellent, it was really fun swinging around the city, doing all the side quests, and you know, some games with a lot of side quests you just get bored of. This game made me want to keep playing it. Rhyme, another very short game, very interesting. It's all basically story based. It's about this, uh, basically about this dad going through this, um, the stages of grief as he mourns something that happens. So I don't want to ruin it for you, but it's really cool. I love how the game looks and sounds. It's very relaxing. Definitely check it out. Spyro: The Reignited Trilogy. So you guys know I love the Spyro series, so I had to play through this as soon as it came out. Uh, I did a first stream of just a little first impressions, but then I did the rest off stream because I wanted to get through this game. Really enjoyed it. If you do not have a PlayStation 1 and have the original games, I highly suggest you pick this up. They did a great job. Um, overall, I think it's they're easier than the original games, especially some of the challenges you have to do to get like orbs and eggs. Um, the flying's a little bit tougher in the speedway stages. I've heard some people say the boss fights are tougher at times, but I thought they did an excellent job, so definitely play that game. And the last two games we start with, the game I beat first in 2018, and the game I beat last in 2018. So the first game, 
was the LEGO Force Awakens Deluxe Edition. This one's kind of cheating because I actually beat the majority of this game um, in December, but then I was, did finish it up, I think, on the 1st or the 2nd of January, so it does count. I beat it in, Jan in 2018. Really fun game. I love the LEGO games. Um, I was able to get through this pretty easily just because my daughter has just been born, and at that age, they just sleep and eat, and that's basically it. So I had a lot of time to play this. I 100%ed it, and since the deluxe edition, it came with the DLC. Really fun, definitely suggest it. And last, the game I actually beat last night, December 28th. Did not know if I was going to be able to get this done in time, but it was actually a pretty decent game. Area. This is a music action RPG. It's kind of mediocre, it's monotonous, but oh my gosh, the music in this game is amazing. No lie, one of the top soundtracks I've ever heard. Um, I'm probably going to make, since there's nothing on YouTube with this soundtrack, I'm probably going to make a video with the whole thing so you guys can listen to it, because I'm telling you, it is excellent. So there you go guys, those are the games I beat in 2018. I'm kind of surprised I was able to beat that many with a baby, but I got her done. Looking forward to 2019. What are some of the games you guys beat this year? Maybe some of the highlights, the ones you're really glad you were able to do. What games would you like to see me tackle in 2019? And I swear to God, if you guys say Ghosts and Goblins, I'm going to slap you. I'll take a J-Love slap and just slap you. Okay? No Ghosts and Goblins. No, I'll probably play that eventually. Just need a little, little time because it was overplayed a little bit. But thank you so much for watching, guys. 2018 was an excellent year, and I really look forward to 2019. So until next time, this is Captain Algebra, signing off.